Hi, I'm Sylvia Spiva, Cisco Developer Community Manager. We're here with a good friend of DevNet, Will Townsend. And look, the DevNet zone is full. We're learning. People are getting started now. Unbelievable. The crowds are unbelievable. They really are. So what do you see when you come to the DevNet zone? I see excitement. I see enthusiasm. I see people that are wanting to learn new skills and progress in their careers. Now, there are a lot of people out there of all ages who ask us questions like, how do I get a job at Cisco? How do I get a job at a company like Cisco? How do I stay relevant? What's your advice for them? My advice, you know, opportunity is about timing and having the right skills. And, you know, what Susie and the team have done have provided a platform for that reskilling effort. It started uh, initially as a, sort of a grassroots effort, and now with the announcements this week with the certifications, the team is taking that to the next level. Cisco's always been known for its engineering certifications. That's sort of the gold you know, standard uh, in the industry. And now that's being extended into the DevNet community. And uh, that's really, really exciting for people that want to add software development skills to their bag of tricks. And we all want to be ready to make sure we grab those opportunities when we make them happen or when they present themselves. But tell us what's happening at a really large level in the industry, what we should all be ready for. Yeah, well it's already happening. So software defined is affecting everything and it's really affected networking over the last couple of years. Cisco is really you know, betting on that with its intent-based networking strategy. And the way that that's realized is through software defined networking. And, and that's exactly uh, the sort of thing that Susie and her team are driving um, are, you know, having you know, uh, the resources for uh, traditional network uh, architects to, uh, to learn new skills in software, and, but most importantly, not be intimidated by that, because I think for a lot of people it's very intimidating. It's like, how do I get into software? It's like, do I have to be a, a coding expert? And I think Susie and the team have done a great job of really breaking that down and making it very simple. I'm glad to hear that. And for people who can't make it to the DevNet Zone, of course, we have all the resources on developer.cisco.com. And what other ways do you recommend for people to keep their skills sharp and to learn new skills? I, you know, personally for myself, um, I join associations that are affiliated with my area of expertise. You know, another you know example. Hey, you know, if you want to learn public uh, speaking skills, go join a Toastmasters group. So. Figure out you know, those adjacencies, those, those groups, those associations that can help you. Uh, in my career, very early on, I found it helpful to identify a mentor and uh, really leaned on that person, Ed Ellett, if you're out there, and uh, really learned a lot from Ed. And, uh, and I encourage everyone to find a mentor that they're comfortable with. I'm going to ask you the question of the week. Developer or engineer? I would have to say developer. You know, an engineer, in my mind, when I think of an engineer, it's taking something and building something that's already been predefined. As a developer, think about it. It's like, it's starting from like ground zero and putting that creative process into it, designing something, and then eventually building and delivering something. So definitely developer. I like that answer. Thank you so much for being here and we'll see you next time. Thanks, Sylvia.